COVID-19 cases jumped today in Virginia. The health department reported more than 5,000 cases. That number had been in the two to 3,000 range for the last week or so. There have been more than 521,000 cases statewide since the pandemic began. Now, despite these numbers, Governor Ralph Northam wants schools to start some in-person learning by next month. It won't be mandatory, but a lot of teachers are sharing mixed reactions. Here's Adriana D'Alba. Today, Governor Ralph Northam said it loud and clear. It's time to find a path forward to in-person learning. The governor called on all K-12 school divisions in Virginia to make in-person learning options available by March 15th while following CDC guidelines. We've seen more data now, and it suggests that schools don't have the kind of rapid spread that we've seen in some other congregate settings. The governor also announced summer school will not be mandatory, but urged school divisions to make the option available. He went on to discuss the mental toll remote learning has taken on young students. We're all exhausted. A return to the classroom is a relief for Emily Pratt Peterson. She's a mom of three in Virginia Beach. I think that all of them do better in person. Um, so yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to kind of get the move on. We've pivoted enough. But health concerns are still a big worry for many. Newport News teacher Mary Voss is among them. I definitely think you know, we need to wait and allow time for teachers and staff to be vaccinated. Really, though, I think we also need to wait to allow time for families to get vaccinated. I'm hopeful, you know, wear your mask, do your part. But but can we just get back to to life? A return to normal could be on the horizon after nearly a year of unprecedented challenges. Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now.